Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to install PHP MyAdmin on COS OS. This makes it to where you can have an interface for your to hook into your database and create tables, different things like that. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over our home labs, I'm going over installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I'm going to go, be going over the Docker Compose, and I have a big bear of video assets, a repo that I'll link down in the description so you can get to it. So um, we're going to go into how to install a PHP MyAdmin on COS OS, and then we're going to see Docker Compose right here. I'm going to click it. So I'm going to go over this. So we're using version three of Docker Compose. We're going to set ser services. And then underneath the services, we're going to set a PHP MyAdmin service. And then we're going to set a Docker image, which is PHP MyAdmin, PHP MyAdmin. And then that's getting off the Docker Hub. And then the name of the container, once it's up and running, is PHP MyAdmin. And then the environment variables are here. So you're going to put your host in, which is going to be the Casa OS IP address. And then you're going to put a a, uh, a MySQL port in, which is 3306, if you followed the video before, for install My MySQL on COS OS. And then the username to connect to the database is whatever username you had in your MySQL uh, installation. And then this is your MySQL uh, password, whatever you put in there. And then we're going to do a port mapping, so 8080 to 80. So 8080 is on the host and 80 is in the container. So you can change the host side, but do not change the container side. So I'm going to have the Docker Compose right here. I'm going to go up here to, to uh, co copy. So I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Casa OS. And uh, on my Xeon board, I'm going to install it. So now uh, the MySQL, I did a video on installing MySQL. So it'll be linked down in the description. And... So I'm gonna go to App Store, then I'm gonna go to Custom Install up here, and then I'm gonna go to Import, and then I'm gonna paste in what I had before. So I'm going to go ahead and Submit, and then OK. I'm going to put the port as 8080, because that's what the web port is. Then I'm gonna put a title in, I'm going to go over to my Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go backwards. Then I'm going to copy the icon URL right here. I'm going to go back to CASA. I'm going to paste in the, the icon URL. Then I'm going to scroll down here to your CASA OS IP. So I'm going to put my CASA OS IP in here. And then that looks good. So now I'm going to press install down here. So now you can see it's installed the PHP My Admin. So you can go over here, you can open it, you can put your tips in if you have any tips on what you need. And then you can go to settings right here and you can ch change the settings and you can press the save button right here. Um, you can go down here to check for updates. You can uninstall it, you can restart it power it off and on and then in the settings you, you can go up here and you can see the terminal logs and then you can export the compose file the docker compose file here so we have php admin installed now so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to open we're going to see cos os is our default database that we created so i'm going to go into here and then i'm going to create a table just real quick show you it's working so i'm going to create one I'm going to do ID, I'm going to do auto increment, and then I'm going to do a email, and then a varchar255, I'm going to do a username, varchar255, I'm going to do a password, do varchar255, and I'm going to save down here. It looks like it's working and we created a user's table inside of the COS OS default database. So 
that's how to get PHP MyAdmin working on Casa OS. So I just installed PHP MyAdmin on uh, Casa OS. I walked you through step by step on getting it installed. I showed you the repo that I created that had the Docker Compose in it. And um, so if you don't have MySQL installed on Casa OS yet, you can go down the, uh, the video description and you can get my link to that video on installing MySQL on Casa OS. So uh, go look at that video and then come back to this one. So uh, if you have any uh, uh, questions or video suggestions or need support, you can go down the Big Bear community and join our Discord and stay tuned for more.